So it's Monday and I decided just to start filming what and show you what I'm doing this week. Right now I'm working on a private commission. I know like, <laughs> like two years ago I was saying how I'm not taking private commissions anymore and I'm going to change my mind again. I took a couple since then and I'm working on a wash one right now using this Caran d'Ache uh, gouache type of paints. They are like between gouache and watercolor I would say but now for the first time I'm using them as a gouache so not as watery. So this is the paints here. I'm just mixing them on this plate and this is the private commission I'm doing. It's based on a photo. It's commissioned by Sabine, a lady who Sabine is always um, saying how she put me through college, but she put me through my first years in Berlin. She was the first lady who um, gave me commissions, like illustration commissions, early in the days when I just started drawing basically. And um, yeah, so she's been a great support. And now she asked me to draw this little painting of her niece. She works at some gallery and um, I guess they dressed her up in this Mondrian dress. Um, in this Kusama background, it's quite a, a quite a special scene. So yeah, I'm gonna recreate it in gouache. As you can see, they are not super super opaque, but so far I'm really okay with this. I mean, I am going to trace all these pencil lines over here, but it means that you do have to be quite careful that you don't overdo it with the pencil underneath and that in the areas where you want to cover it, you do have to build, build the paint up a little bit more. But they're super soft paints to work with. I really, really enjoy this. It's not super messy. It's... I love having them all here in the palette. And um, they're easy to access. I mean, of course, I'm getting them dirty a little bit, but I'm fine with it. You know, I, I had those um, Himi... Uh, Arctic uh, gouache jelly cups before and while I liked having them all like this on display not in tubes they did get really messy because they were like jelly consistency and they did, did get super contaminated and they start to dry out but this I really think this could <laughs> this could be quite amazing to work with I have tried them before, you know, you've seen me like a couple of videos ago use them to make that little um, door sign but I use them quite watered down so I really, you know, didn't see how they could work as a real gouache consistency until now It's so easy to go over with a thin brush and make like tiny details. Should we do her dress now? Yeah. Hmm. So here. The, under the blue I painted with white before so that's why it's a little streaky here first time it's become streaky over yellow it didn't have any issues it's fine I guess I'm just gonna go over one more time once it dries I'll go over once more mm. See, the black is so amazing to work with, it's so smooth. Alright, final touches. Mm, I had a shoe. Yeah, I'm really happy with these gouaches. Um, now I finally feel like I really tried them properly. And I have to say, um, I really enjoy them. I really enjoy them, not messy, not super thick consistency and it's perfect for this kind of um, small format uh, like a busy scene type of thing
There's no room. <laughs> For your surname. Just get Yana then. Business card as well. I'm gonna have to go buy a cardboard envelope on my way to work and pack it and send it. And it's off. Stepped into a dog shit and I'm off to work. I hope I don't get a ball of king this time for showing books. Business Wednesday today. I do that here and there, not every Wednesday, but I really should do it every Wednesday. What I do and what that means is that on Wednesday mornings <laughs> I sit down and I do some research, just go on the internet and see um, who and where, what magazine, what publishing house, what brand I could write and send them my portfolio in case they're looking for illustrators. It's just a good way to find potential clients. I need to make this some sort of a system and then I also want to do a video about it once but today I'm just going to show you like a little bit of what I did. So I went to Instagram first and I just scrolled through a little bit and I wrote down if I saw something also on the other days not on just Wednesdays on business Wednesdays if I ever see something that's uh, worth looking more into or um, writing to, I just note it down or I say it on Instagram. Sometimes I just like Google for smaller magazines, um, something that's not super scary to write to because I'm really like, I don't feel ready enough to write to my favorite magazines and some big magazines that use nice, really good illustrators. So I just look for like smaller kids magazines and lifestyle magazines, German, English ones, Slovenian ones. Yeah, I just look for blogs that use illustration, like online publishers, Instagram accounts that use illustration. I look for open calls, competitions, and then sometimes I check like specific illustrators that I like and just look what they've been working on, like what magazines they've been working on, brands and so on. So today I looked uh, through Hayley Tipman's website and Instagram because she's an American and she lives in Germany. So she also works with like smaller German publishers. So that's how I found two contacts. Yeah, basically it's just me sitting down here for two hours trying to find some contacts. I have a few now that I'm going to write to. But it's a practice that I really dread. Um, many illustrators 
as I as I've seen in my research, really don't like this process because it's it's really vulnerable to look for this context of magazines and art directors and brands, and most often you don't even hear back <laughs> um, from them. Sometimes you do, and I have I have gotten some jobs through this process, but it's just. Oh, it's just hard. Also, going through all these illustrators, they really like um, profiles and websites, and you know, seeing all the great work they do get, but also their work is amazing. And it sometimes just feels like, as a person starting out, you know, where you also feel like you still can do better with illustration skills. It's really hard to see how to get in that world, like how to start getting these jobs. Also, I think soon I'm going to start applying to some illustration agencies because that's how these big illustrators, they get all this work um, through being signed up with an agency and then, of course, clients very often, bigger ones, come directly to the agency and then they have the match up with a suitable illustrator. So. so I found emails of two other writers from one magazine in Switzerland and I write a little text and then just um, share my link to my portfolio and then also just a few ex um, and then also just a few examples of my illustrations that I think it could be interesting for them. I used to have like a PDF attachment that I put into these uh, emails, but I find this better that it's visible as soon as they open the email. And then if they want to see more, they can check the link. Okay, my gosh. So I'm home now. Eddie and I Eddie and I went to pick up the prints. The prints of um, the water people wearing in Berlin posters. So this is the Mitte, Prenzlauerberg, Neukölln, Kreuzberg and Charlottenburg ones. They're printed like a art, as an art print. Uh, very nice quality. I mean, I haven't checked it, but that place does really nice quality art prints. So I got the first batch here. Of course, there's still Friedrichshain and Schunenberg that I need to do, but I just want to get started and get some stuff printed. And I'm gonna show you now. Oh my God, I haven't, shown, I haven't seen them as well. Okay. It looks really nice already just through this paper. Um, oh my gosh, how do I do this? <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> I washed my hands. Oh my. Beautiful colors. There you go, Prenzlauerberg. The colors are so nice. Honestly, I was debating, I was thinking, should I go like really good quality with this? Because art prints are quite expensive to print. Or should I do, do something like medium quality? But I'm so glad I went with this. My gosh, okay. <laughs> Wait, let me show you the others. Okay, so this is all Prince Lauerberg. I think I ordered five of each for now. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. And the paper is nice and thick. I'm so happy. Okay, there is Charlottenburg. Stella, if you're watching. That's the video and Miriam. Uh, Gosh, I'm so happy. 
and I didn't put my signature in here because I'm going to date and sign them here. I think they're gonna be editions of, I think I'm gonna let myself make a hundred. But of course I'm gonna be printing as I go, so depending on how many orders I get. Oh my, okay. Charlottenburg. Oh gosh, I'm really happy. There we go, Kreuzberg. Okay. Um, so the print shop I get, I got this done is um, called XL Druck uh, Berlin. It's in Friedrichshain at uh, Boxhagenplatz, just at Ostbahnhof. Is it Ostbahnhof? Yeah. And uh, it's been recommended by one illustrator that I really like. Um, also at the Urban Art Kids little gallery, um, the lady, the owner said that um, many artists from their print in this print shop. It's supposed to be a good, um, like really good quality and it, the, the prints are done super fast there. The light is not the best here right now because it's dark and this light is not like natural light would be. Anyway, meter. And there we got my corn. Nora and Frida, my friends. Uh, Chi and Uto. And this red. I'll do some research on how to sign and date this properly. <laughs> So it's how it's supposed to be, and then, yeah, I don't know, I guess I have to now figure out how to do the online shop, or either it's going to be an Etsy shop, I'm going to talk to the Urban Art Kids little gallery lady, and maybe even reach out to some more places in Berlin that would could be interested in selling them. But, of course, yeah, the online shop or Etsy or something where I can myself sell is the priority. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna let you know when it's available. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a few days of the week, not the whole week, but tomorrow it's a normal work day and I've got a new doctor before, so there's gonna be nothing. And on Friday, we are now really going to London. So... That's uh, what you're going to be seeing next week. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and see you next Sunday.